I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. And if you also find your way back into Marjorie's graces, well, it would be a shame to waste such influence. And then I realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironrath, and you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. My family would never allow it. If you go anywhere near Forrester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. Until I cut your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Doubtless you'd try, given half a chance. But you won't be. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath, and you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which was why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I need to see him. Is he in there? There's a reason I wanted to talk to you. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. But... It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrod. He's in so much pain.
I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. I promised Sylvie I'd give it to him. To end his suffering. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> You? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Remember your promise, Garrett. Ah! You said you'd leave me behind. Ah! To help Sylvie. Got her. Oh, I can't bear it anymore. Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. God is a fighter. Always has been. I can see that. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrod. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart, his beating heart, and his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrod. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrod. I fear what might happen if we don't. His beating heart? This is madness. Not madness. Necessity. Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. Out there, you saw what's possible. That was only the beginning. Form the ritual, and we can prepare for the coming winter. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it.
Bulgar and Vicenair. We must burn the body. Your fighters are in place. Keep the White Hills calm, and as soon as they're all seated, give the signal to strike. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn. Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester, my apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asher. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. Things are different now. I'm different now, but you have nothing to worry about. You are always a terrible liar. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive, no hidden agenda. Just peace, once and for all. I trust you, Gwyn. I know you've lost a lot, and... And I'm sorry, but things will get better. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. I promise. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Asher. I knew I could trust you. Sorry to intrude, my lord. But Lady Forrester is in need of your help. Of course. I should go. Thank you, Asher. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It's all that came to mind. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the men. Consider it done, my lord. Ah. Elisa. I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Mother! Huh. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Enough blubbering. You can have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. 
Asher. Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker, Forrester. Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye. And get us something to eat. I'm bloody starving. We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. Our hall is yours, Lord Whitehill. Make yourself comfortable. Of course it's my bloody hall! But you're too ready to give it over. Your false smiles don't fool me, Forrester. Calm down, Father. Asha's just showing you the respect you deserve. Rather odd that Talia's not here, isn't it? And your banner men look a little tense. What are you playing at, Forrester? Something's not right. I can feel it. Calm yourself, Lord Whitehill. There's no reason to get upset. Say what you want. I know what I see. See, that's the trouble with you, Foresters. No manners. I knew- ah! <laughs> Now! Goodbye, Asha.
my lord. Your wound. Get them to safety. Of course. But I won't abandon you, not again. Please, mother. a long way to die. Let's see you live up to your reputation.
inside. My lord, we have to get you out of here. I'll be damned if I let another lord die on my watch. I can't run. You must survive, Asher. For the house. For all of us. Go! Go! Oh, oh. 